everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna make fried sweet dumplings and in Arabic we call them awamet. It's a light and crispy fried dough. It's also dipped in simple syrup. It's so delicious and so easy to make. As usual the full recipe is listed down below the video in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on social media and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now let's start. I'm gonna use some all-purpose flour. I already added to it some salt. I'm gonna need some warm water, some yeast, some sugar, and finally some cornstarch. And this ingredient is super important because this is what will make our dough really crispy. So I'm gonna start by activating the yeast. I'm gonna add it to the water along with the sugar. I'm gonna give it a good stir, just like that, and leave it aside for about five minutes until the yeast activates. Now I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients. I have the flour already mixed with the salt, the cornstarch, and finally the sugar. I'm gonna give it a slight mix, just like that. And after about five minutes, the yeast is activated. Now I'm gonna add the yeast and the water mixture to the flour mixture. And using my whisk, I'm gonna mix everything together until I have a dough. Of course, everything must be well combined. And the final result should be like a liquidy kind of dough. It shouldn't be too loose, neither too thick. So as you can see here, it's perfect. I'm just scraping the sides of the bowl using my spatula. Now I'm gonna cover it with a cling film. Cover it tightly, just like that. And then I'm gonna cover it with a kitchen towel. And I'm gonna leave it in a warm place for about one hour. Of course, I'm also gonna need some simple syrup. You can make your own at home, it's super easy. And I have a recipe for that on my channel. I'm gonna put the link down below and on the screen. So I have this ready. Now after about one hour, you can see that my dough has doubled and tripled in volume. It's looking great. You wanna have on hand also a small cup filled with oil, just like vegetable oil. So today I'm gonna use some gloves, it makes my life easier. Let's clean up. And as you see here, I'm removing the air from the dough using my hand in a circular motion, just like that. Now I'm gonna take a small quantity of the dough with my hand, just like so. I'm gonna press, just like so. And you'll end up with a small bowl on top. You wanna remove it using the spoon and then drop it in the oil. Of course, I forgot to mention you have to have your oil ready and heat it up. So the process is you wanna dip the spoon in the oil and then take some of the dough with your hand. You wanna press and then you'll end up having a small ball on top. You wanna scoop it and drop it in the oil. And it's really important to dip the, the spoon in the oil so that the piece of dough slides off easily to the oil. As you can see, the small uh, ball of doughs are sliding off easily into the hot oil. So that's the process, it's easy, it's not too complicated. So you wanna continue flipping and mixing the dumplings in the oil so that they get a nice color, an even color from all sides, just like that. And as you can see, the dumplings are floating on top. That means they're light, they're crispy, and the recipe is a success. So once the dumplings have a golden color from all sides, you wanna remove them from the oil, of course let them drip very well, and directly place them in the simple syrup. Of course here I'm giving them a good mix so that they're coated from all sides with a simple syrup. Let them there for about five minutes, then you wanna remove them. Here I'm using a strainer just to get rid of the excess syrup. I don't like them too sweet like so and that's it these fried sweet dumplings are ready to be served they are light they're crispy they're super delicious and super easy to make and that was it for today's video I hope that you enjoyed the recipe I also hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you give it a try don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already where there is a lot of different recipes and I'll see you soon in another video bye